In the hustle and bustle around London's Marble Arch, the giant bronze head of a horse exudes an atmosphere of calm. Though it was only installed a few years ago, it's already something of a local landmark. Horses provide a wealth of inspiration for artist Nick Fidian Green. He's lived around them his entire life. My contemplations and, 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 and thoughts um, when I'm observing the animal are then, I suppose, impregnated uh, in it. And that, I suppose, is why I'm trying to uh, to do something more than, than just talk about this is a horse, just for the sake of the horse. I'm trying to say this is a horse, but it is, it has a spirit. Nick always models his figures on live horses to ensure he achieves the perfect form in his plaster molds. He takes care of the fine detail work in his studio just a few minutes away from his home near London. In his sculptures, Nick seeks to capture a moment of calm in the life of a horse. For him, the animal is highly charged with symbolism. It is a moment that was inspired by the idea of the horse coming down to, to water. Um, and of course, a horse will never drink if it is in any way um, frightened. So it, it has to be at a state of, of, of total, uh, I suppose, it's invulnerability, isn't it? It's, the, it's, it's knowing it's, it's that it is secure. The artist is usually in his studio by five in the morning. He says that when the world is waking up and he's alone, his senses are at their sharpest. His work takes its cue from the classical sculptures of ancient Greece. Nick has been producing horse sculptures for more than 20 years, but the process is still a learning experience. Is it tilting too far forward, too far back? It's critical. One inch at the bottom can be six inches out at the top. Now, that sort of balance, that constant looking at it and reworking it and redrawing it, reforming it, all of those things seem to be um, never resolved. I mean, it may be obsessive, but I think it's just trying to find perfection in this form. The artist has also mastered the art of bronze founding. He experiments with different chemicals to produce the right patina for his works. Fumes released by patinating the bronze are toxic, and doctors say they could be what caused the artist's leukemia eight years ago. Nick has since made a full recovery, and he still completes the entire work process himself. You can't get anybody else to finish your painting. You can't expect the last, the last touch must be the artist, as far as I'm concerned. That's why even working the metal is something that even leaving it to the founders, there is a difference, I believe. Now, probably nobody's going to notice the difference except for me, but it matters more to me that that colour and the finish of the metal and everything is right. Nick's sculptures can be found in collections around the world. Transporting them is always a major challenge. Whether the sculptures remain in England or travel to Italy or Australia or Hong Kong, Nick models his horses on images that date back to mankind's early history. The images I think of didn't have a man on his back, probably, presumably, because he couldn't get on its back, he couldn't control it. And so the horse became this, 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 this animal that roamed the earth, um, that was later to become the most important animal that, that roamed the earth and roams the earth. There is no, no other animal, I suppose. There are many animals, but, but the horse is the one that changed man's, man's destiny. Horses have accompanied Nick since his childhood. He says he and his art couldn't live without them. version of his colossal horse head is permanently installed within view of Nick Fidian Green's family home, lasting testimony to a lifelong passion. <laughs>